Hey, Jeff Shepard. Hey, good morning, Jack. How was your Christmas, sir? Oh, wow. It was awesome. It was awesome. We, better, huh? uh, it was great. My my daughter was in home, home from college. Uh, she had a, a fun Christmas break. They got to go on a, a trip to Hawaii with Woo! her basketball team and nice. flew into uh, the Louisville airport late on the 23rd. And I was able to pick her up and get her home and um, just had a real simple and special time with with their family and so christmas is is awesome wonderful wonderful holiday we love to celebrate christmas with our family that's wonderful that's the way to do it well new year's here yes, and i hate it i'm not a big fan of new year's uh <laughs> i think it's amateur night i don't want to be out there with those drunks and uh there's nothing about it that appeals to me but it's going to come whether we want it to or not and along with that comes the challenges of maybe setting some financial goals now I, you know everybody does their resolutions or a lot of people do but i always uh, uh you know uh, just blow it within a week or so how do you help people <laughs> set uh, financial goals and stick to them yeah you know I, I found personally and and professionally that it it is the 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 simple execution of of basic fundamentals that that wins uh, over and over and over, uh, and that is so easy to say and very difficult to do. Um, but for us, it all starts with with writing some things down. Uh, it's amazing when we go through our first meeting at Family Wealth Group. It's it's almost a, a an an inventory, so to speak, or a, a categorization exercise where we're just looking at certain rules and certain laws and certain uh, ways to organize how you kind of see yourself financially. Um, I love to separate things and say, okay, here's all your stuff in regards to your real estate, your home, your cars, your um, uh, other properties maybe that you have, and just really kind of make a list of those things and say, okay, Here's how much my home is currently worth approximately. Here's how much debt I have. Here's how much uh, remaining I have on my, my loan. Here's my uh, interest rate. Here's the payment that I make. Really starting to get that written down and in an organized fashion so that uh, for, for those that are struggling with debt, we can look and say, okay, here's everything. Here's the payment. Here's the interest rates. This is what we should try to tackle first, really putting that on paper. Uh, and then get into different types of money and talk about, all right, what's our plan to save money? Are we going to try to save money through our retirement plan at work? Are we going to do it outside of a retirement plan at work? Uh, are we just going to just straight up try to plop money into a savings account? And for everybody, it's different. And everybody's going through different seasons of their life, but uh, those that will will just commit to write stuff down, really be honest with themselves and say, okay, here's where I am, and if, if I have a goal and I want to accomplish that goal, then this is what I have to do. This is what I have to commit to. And then it comes down to being disciplined. You just gotta gotta stick to it, and you gotta uh, contribute to to those plans. You gotta understand the, the way that they work. And those that can do that and have done that uh, over their working career, it's amazing what uh, the compounding of money can do. It's amazing what things look like when you get your get yourself out of debt. And uh, a lot of times. Those successful retirees, I like to call them, are the ones that make more money than they spend in retirement without working. So they're just – their Social Security income's coming in and money from investments is coming in, and it's it's more than they even made when they were working. And those are the, the great cases that you love to help people with and kind of show them how all that is, is possible. But it all starts with – writing some things down and uh, getting it in a good organized fashion and then, you know, building that plan uh, to, to go forward in the future. How do folks get a hold of you? 859-309-0349. Uh, thefamilywealthgroup.com is our website. 
Uh, I'm kind of with you, Jack. If you want to get a hold of me on New Year's Eve, I'll probably be asleep on the couch before the ball <laughs> drops. So I'll be tough to find on New Year's Eve. <laughs> I guarantee you I never make it till midnight on New Year's Eve. I don't um, either. I let's, don't talk either. About, let's talk about UK's uh, basketball team this year. Man, what a game the other night. Uh, what was it? Uh, Big O had, was it uh, 28 rebounds? 28 rebounds. We had to actually go to that game. Uh, oh, good. So we, we, had, we had the night off, and um, uh, Reed got to go to that nice. game, good. and uh, we took a whole crew from the family. And so uh, and it was really neat. We got to, we got to see, sit pretty close uh, behind the, the bench and, um, and listen to Coach Cal interact and the players interact with him. And, um, and yeah, what a special performance that, that uh, Big O put on. And, um, the team's got a lot of momentum right now. They're yep. really pulling for each other and uh, playing with another level of energy, um, and, and and that's that's what you have to have. You just have to have um, wonderful talent, but you got to have the players committed to each other, and uh, that is tough to find with this you know this group of young people these days is uh, those that are that will commit to do something for somebody else. And they have that. They have something special. So hopefully they just take these this North Carolina game, the Western Kentucky game, and kind of continue the momentum on this week and uh, move on in. And uh, we got a real special game coming up uh, towards uh, on New Year's Eve, though, and that's, that's the Tubby Smith game. So that's going to be awesome. We get to go to that game and be a part of that celebration as well. So nice. a lot of good things going on at Kentucky basketball right now. And uh, you said you sat behind the bench so you could hear the interaction. Is uh, is Coach Cal, uh, does he use some choice words? Well, you know, it all depends. Uh, <laughs> when, 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 you're, when you're up by 30, you you know, he, he, was, he was smiling at everything. Uh, but, you know, every coach, you know, is, is – you know, doing what he has to do to to motivate his team and that kind of thing, and uh, you know, it, it's 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 a fun thing to 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 watch, um, but at the same time, you know, you're you're in a you're in a game, you're in a battle, you're you know, you're in a contest, and uh, you know, a lot of. A lot of things are said that yeah. <laughs> are, are are funny, uh, not being in them. Yeah. Um, but yeah. but uh, you know, I know got to understand they have a, you, a you task were, at hand. You were uh, you were on a team coached by Rick Pitino, and I always heard that his language was pretty uh, pretty rough sometimes. I um, I don't remember that. Uh, no, <laughs> he got our attention. He got our attention, but. Hey, listen, have a, hey, great, yeah, no. have a great week. I will talk to you on Friday, and we'll wrap this uh, year up. How about that? Sounds good. Talk to you on Friday, buddy. Friday. Thank you so much, Jeff.